So in today's video, I decided to let an AI control what I do in Greenville today. So if you do enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and make sure to smash that like button if you would like a part two. And do you know what else I enjoy? Today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by myself. Have you ever wanted to look cool or fresh on Roblox but didn't know what type of outfit you wanted to go for? I have the perfect idea for you. If you're looking for a holiday or winter type outfit, my merch is perfect for you. So what are you doing? Head over to my Roblox group right now and check out the brand new merch, which is available until January 1st, the first day of the year. Anyways, let's get back into today's video. Anyways, first before we do anything, we need to pick out a car. But of course, I'm not picking out the car, the AI is. Alright, we're gonna keep it basic. We're gonna go ahead and ask the AI, sedans, coupes, or SUVs. Alright, what should we drive? A sedan, a coupe, or an SUV? SUV or sedan? SUV or sedan? Okay, that wasn't even a choice, but sure, why not? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is pick something under the sports category. Alright, so what we're gonna do is pick a number between 1 and 50. And whatever number she chooses is going to be our car for the rest of the video. Pick a number between 1 and 50. Alright guys, we need to find the 49th car. 49? Wow, okay. You want to drive some sporty car? Okay, we got you. We're gonna go on and buy it, and this will be... Probably our car for the rest of the video. But we might even ask for a different car. You never know. Anyways, let's check out the AI did with this car. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of it. Oh wait, this is actually an Alcra. I th I'm pretty sure I'm right. I think this is an Alcra. But yeah, this is what the AI chose. It's not a bad car to be honest, but it's not my cup of tea. I don't drive these type of cars at Greenville, so it's quite interesting. Okay, the AI did not do a terrible job. I mean, this car is not terrible. I kind of like how it drives. All right, so what I'm going to do next is what car should I sell? From 1 to 35, so we need to ask the AI to pick a number between 1 and 35. Let's do it. Pick a number between 1 and 35. Pick a number between 1 and 5. Whoa, are you threatening me? Wow. No, you pick a number between 1 and 35. Pick a number between 1 and 35. I don't want to, bro. Can you pick a number between 1 and 35? That's not the game I wanted to play. Bro, can you pick a number between 1 and 35? No, pick a number between 1 and 4. Bro, this bot keeps on telling me no, like, bro, answer the question. Pick a number between 1 and 35. Which do you like better, mushrooms or flowers? When did I ask you that question? We aren't even on that topic. Pick a number, pick a number between, between 1 and 35. Construction number generator. Wow, that's a number. Can you pick a number between 1 and 35? Pick a number between 1 and 26. <laughs> All right, this bot is out of its mind. I don't understand. We're gonna ask Siri. Pick a number between one and 35. The answer is 20. 20, okay. 10, okay. There is our car we're gonna be selling. I really don't drive this vehicle anymore, but it is a nice car and I actually do really, really like it. So probably to this video, I will buy it again. So yes, so here you go, AI. You have sold a car from me and I earned $25,000 back. It's a win-win situation to be honest. All right, so next I'm gonna ask the AI, should I play with the worst graphics in Greenville? Let's actually check this out. Should I play with the worst graphics in Greenville? You should let the fire. I should let the fire, okay. Yes or no, should I play with the worst graphics in Greenville? The what game? Yes or no? Yes. Alright, so the AI is chosen. We are going to be playing with the worst graphics in Greenville. To my settings here. Alright, so I usually play with full graphic, and now we need to turn it all the way down. And there you go. Greenville now looks like this. And to be honest, it doesn't even look half bad, so... Let's now mess with some other settings. We need to turn the render quality to low. We need to turn the tree count to low. And that's really all the graphics settings in Greenville. So yeah, this looks interesting. Let's actually go ahead and drive around the map. I actually do want to see what this looks like. Yeah, playing with the worst graphics in Greenville is a task. You can't really see anything with the low graphics. I doubt you can even see where you want to go. Like, bro, I can't see any buildings. I, bro, mobile players out there having to play on these low graphics, I feel bad. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you play with low graphics in Greenville? And do you like it or do you hate it? I mean, if I had to play on low graphics, graphics i'd say i hate it this looks terrible everything loading in so slowly the ai has chosen and now we need to play with the worst graphics for the rest of the video and now i'm going to ask the bot where should i live in six houses yeah i know it's not six houses but whatever yes or no should i live in this house 
What house? The one on the left. How many spaces to the left? One. I don't know. What piece do you move? No, I want to move into the house. Should I? So is that a yes? I don't know. Is that a yes? Maybe. Is that a yes? Do you want it to be a yes? Kinda. Yes or no? Maybe both. Bro, it's a yes or no question. Yes or no? Yes. Alright, so the bot has finally made its mind. So yes, we are moving into this house. To be honest, it's not bad. I'll, I think I'd live here. Why not? It's a pretty nice house. We'll move in right away. It's a pretty nice house. So if you check out the house here, yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty nice house. So the AI actually did choose a pretty good house. So yes, this will be our brand new house because the AI forced us to live here. So what I'm going to ask next is, should you guys, the viewers, subscribe? Yes or no, should they subscribe? It's up to you. No, it's up to you. Yes or no? I don't mind. Yes or no? No. Wow, I was not expecting that. I thought she would say yes. I mean, like, bro, you guys should hit that subscribe button, but I guess you guys got to do what the AI says. So now let's ask the AI a car category. What car should I go for? A Lambo. Of course you had to pick Lambo, the vehicle that Greenville removed. All right, let's get her to pick a different car. What car should I go for? 2012 Chevy Camaro ZL1. I don't know if Greenville has that, but let's head over to the Greenville dealership and find out. All right, let's look in here. We need to go over to the Chevy category and we need to type in 2012. So it doesn't look like Greenville has it, but I'm gonna go for something similar. I think we're gonna go for the 2013 Chevy here. It is a Camaro, it's just a different year. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and buy it. And there you go, the bot has chosen another car. I hate that bumper. I should have went for a different trim, but yeah, here is the 2013 Chevy Camaro. Not bad. Yes, I know I was supposed to go for the 2012, but Greenwood doesn't have it, so I went for the next year. And to be honest, I don't think it really matters. We still basically got the exact same car, and yeah, the AI did do a little bit better but i think i enjoy the other car a lot better all right so now i'm gonna ask the ai what type of color i should go for for the camaro since you chose it pick a random color blue, blue on a camaro doesn't seem terrible but let's head over to the paint shop and paint this camaro all righty let's go for a blue i don't know what type of blue i should go for but i think i'm gonna go for like this type of blue it's nice we'll also go for a little bit of a shine on it too because it looks hot and there you go the blue chevy camaro let's now ask the ai this question should everybody watching this video right now like what are his videos about yes or no yes let's go so now everybody watching this video has to hit that like button anyways that's going to wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you would like to see a part two let me know in the comment section down below and of course if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and smash the like button but anyways that's about it hope you guys did enjoy and thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one